All right, Ben Bang, today is Monday. It is December 12th. Welcome to the Dog Walk presented by Barstool Sports. It is Snake Draft Monday presented by Miller Lite. We are joined by first-time guest, Jersey Jerry. Jerry, welcome to the show. Uh, happy to have you, bud. Yeah, happy to be here. You know, uh, had some differences in the past with the city of Chicago, <laughs> lifted the curse. Um, I'm, 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 I'm a fan of Justin Fields now. Wow. Uh, maybe not the biggest fan, but, uh, you know, our differences are set aside. I'm ready to do this thing. Is that are you are you actually a fan? Or, or be be honest. I, I I root for him. You know the thing is, he's not a bad guy. He was never like threatening or anything to me. I was just you know in the moment I was a little upset. I am a autograph guy as you can see on the hat. Uh, <laughs> Big cat and no all press. Yeah. <laughs> I take the autographs kind of serious. Um, but you know, I'm I'm rooting for him because you know I think he's a pretty good player. Uh, you know, he's, he's really mobile and, and stuff like that. But uh, I don't know. I'm not, like, a biggest fan of him. Obviously, my team comes first. But I, it's an easy guy to root for. Yeah. I mean, yeah. he's been great. So. Yeah. Different uh, conference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it is what it is. Water yeah. under the bridge as far as I'm concerned. And we do more stuff than sports. This show is not a sports show. So we'll save that rivalry for Redline Radio, which comes out on Thursdays. Go check that out. Um, this is the dog walk. This is the draft. And honestly, Jerry, like, lightning struck today. And I, I, maybe I should be careful when I say that. I don't know what happened with that Drew Brees thing. There's, like, adv advocacy groups coming at him for that. I don't know if you guys saw that. That was a crazy story. But lightning struck today. So we're recording on a Thursday. And uh, someone took a shit on our front door. Like, like a fucking screaming diarrhea, fucking late night, 12 beers deep, enchilada Mexican snowman shit all over our door. Like, dripping diarrhea. <laughs> Like catastrophe, obviously everyone knows the Jersey Jerry story. Yeah. Diarrhea everywhere, and today is the worst smells draft. So it's like it's, it's serendipitous. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. So it, like the stars aligned in some the, way today. I walked up to that thing, and you're a big true crime guy, Ed. Yeah. You know how when they have a murder and they have they bring in like the forensic like yeah. splatter like person to analyze the blood splatter. Like that's what we need. We need to get like the right height, the right angle, all of that. To figure out who the shit is. I have someone I think we should contact. Who's that? Kathleen Zellner. We should get her down here from uh, Manitowoc uh, County. I like no, she's from Northwestern. No, yeah, you're right. Naperville. Naperville. Oh, yeah. is she? Yeah. Is she? Well, is in Naperville. Uh, she hasn't even got Stephen Avery out of the joint, so. Well, he fucking did it. Yeah, so. well, you know. <laughs> That's a different story. I don't think he did. <laughs> no, supposedly they're coming out with a opposite side, I saw. Oh, that'll be cool. Yes. I'm very excited I, I about saw, that. I, I, I saw Chris Hansen say that on KFC's podcast. I Ooh. love that. Yeah, like I'll an opposite be all side to show that. like Stephen Avery. But they did do yeah. that, the splatter test with the blood in the car at the junkyard and all that. So, yeah, I think Kathleen Zellner. Do you think this is uh, below her pay grade? Well, she works pro Probably. bono. Well, I think that's like, well, it was like the plot of American Vandal, right? With like that, Jimmy Tatro. Yes, yes, yes. It was. Yeah. It was hilarious. Yeah. I watched it. It's the only season I watched of that, and it was very funny. Yeah. Yeah. Well, regardless, Jerry, the, uh, the worst smells draft. Um, yep. This is what it is. And I, I, my worry here, it could go into kind of how we did the AC draft where it's like, oh, this uh, rotting, this rotting, this yeah. rotting, this. I don't I, 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 I think it should be very up to you. Like, hey, I don't like the smell of that. It could be a right. food. It could be this. So. Yep. I think we should stay away from, like, obviously anything that's rotted smells. Correct. So if you say rotting X, this type of seafood is, you know, so I don't know. That, yeah. Just going to throw that out there early. I only got one rotten blank on my entire list. Okay. And I got about 25 right. on here. So and I didn't say that to people pre, but, like, I did. Actually, I did say it to you Text it to me. Yeah, yeah, I didn't say it to Jared, but I, I think that's applied. But I didn't have any any rotting things. On you didn't? Those, okay. No. All right. But uh, we did do best smells. I forgot who we did that with. I forgot who we did that with. Hmm. Who did we do that with? Hmm. I don't know. I could look it up, though. But, uh, yeah, we could just kind of hop into it. And uh, congrats to Chief won the music festival draft. Great draft last week with cons. Go yep. check it out if you missed that one. Music guy on the show. A lot of music takes. Ooh. Shots thrown. And then, Jer, really the only rule, I know this is your first time. Yep. I don't know if you listen, but the only rule is uh, – we don't tip picks, even though last week we did a shit ton. So if a, if a draft pick hasn't been named yet, just don't talk about it because it's like, oh, if someone takes that, you know. Okay, you gotcha. Know, that, and, like, the, the name of the game here is, like, you know, let's say I'm drafting second. I want one of the worst ones up towards the top. 
Like yeah. you're drafting yeah, the best whatever, fantasy football player. Yes. Right. Gotcha. So whatever you okay. think is the worst smell on your at the top of your board, that's okay. what you want. Correct. Perfect. Correct. Correct. All right, then. Um, we'll do the order here. Uh, Jerry, our producer, Harry. Jerry Harry. Um, has a number one through five behind his back. What number do you think it is? Uh, I'm going to say two. Yes. All right, Jerry. So you can go one through five. You pick your slot. Which, which, uh, which it's slot? a snake draft, so five you get back-to-back picks. Five you get back-to-back. Okay, gotcha. Ooh, this is tough. Um, <laughs> shit. Oh, man. I'm on the spot now. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go three. Okay, uh, Carl. Uh, one. No. Two. No. Three. No. Four. Yes. Uh, I'll take the second spot. Uh, Carl. That's peculiar. One. Yes. Um. What? What's available? One. One. Four. four five. five. I'll take the first. Part. All right. Uh, Chief. One. No. Got Two. It. Yes. Guess I'm going five. I think I went five last week, too. All right. All right, so the order is Carl, Eddie, Jerry, Chief, White Sox, Dave. And before we do get into it, though, I want to talk about our friends at Miller Lite. Tis the season to get together with good friends and great drinks, and that means Tis Miller time. Since 1975, Miller Lite has been the beer with great taste you could depend on. No games, no gimmicks, just great beer. Not only is Miller Lite a great tasting light beer, it's also a great gift for the beer lovers in your life. And even more gift ideas perfect for beer lovers. Visit the Miller Lite shop site at shop.millerlite.com. Uh, they got great merch, all right? Their new holiday collection features everything from cozy beer-inspired holiday sweaters to drinkable ornaments for your tree. One more time, that's shop.millerlite.com. Uh, this holiday, tis Miller time, so enjoy Miller time with your friends and family. Uh, they really do have awesome merch. It's the best. Chief, you like to drink, right? I, I like to partake in a few, yeah. Yeah. You th- are you going to get some of that? You're the only one with the Christmas tree here, as far as I'm aware. Are you going to get some of those ornaments? I'm going to get some of the ornaments, the drinkable ornaments. I also just think that white can is so nice looking that that looks nice You know what Christmas doesn't tree. smell bad? You just hang it by Never the like. tab. You just hang it by the tab. It's perfect. Yeah, it's a great. You pop that. It's delicious. Good stuff. Ah. Yeah. Miller Lite. Great taste. 96 calories. Go to MillerLite.com slash redline. To find delivery options near you so you can give the gift of Miller time this holiday season, or you can pick up some Miller Lite pretty much anywhere that they sell beer. Tis Miller time. Celebrate responsibly. Miller Brewing Company in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. 96 calories and 3.2 carbs per 12 ounces. All right, Carl, take us away. I'm delighted I get to pick this first overall. I'm just taking feces, human shit. Uh, Jerry, obviously, great video. The time, I'm sorry you did shit your pants, but (laughs) one thing I admire about uh, your content, Jerry, like you just make the best out of whatever it is. It's always just, it doesn't matter. You are, you're putting your own little spin on it. And there's no better example of that than you shit in your pants and your delivery and the tone and the tempo as you, as you present this. It's a problem. It's a big problem. (laughs) It's a a great moment. It's a sad day. Very good at what you do. Uh, So I do, this is a joint pick. Obviously the feces is a terrible smell, but it's also an honor and respect to Jerry uh, to have human shit go first on this. And uh, if, if you'd like to indulge us, Jerry, you don't like that smell very much. I, 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 I hate that smell. <laughs> In fact, it is one of the worst smells. Can I say something? It's only when it's someone else's shit. No. Nope. I, I mean, it's not a good smell, <laughs> when, no. but my own shit, like, it doesn't make me gag. If I smelled someone else's shit, I, like, want to puke my brains. I think if you shit your pants, like yeah. Jerry did, and you had to take a whiff, you would agree that it was a terrible smell. Uh, of course it's a terrible smell, but it, there's levels of how terrible it is. If it's someone else's shit, like someone else's fart, I can deal with my own fart. It's hey, just fine. Hey, hey, Okay, my bad. Okay. And <laughs> shit, it's the same thing to me. Obviously, well, it's a horrible smell, but like someone else's shit, I'm like holding back vomit. I got to uh, – I don't know how many times I've smelt my own shit. Usually I know it, it just ends up right yeah. in the toilet and I flush it down. It would have to be like it's more the gas that you smell than the actual shit in that scenario, I feel like. Perhaps. Are you a uh, are you a once you shit, you flush right away? I'm one of those guys. I yeah, I try to Typically, get rid of it. Yeah. yeah. I'm not I'm not sitting there until the end. Like, you don't like I, to look yeah. at it? I mean I might sit there I might I my body might linger on the toilet for another fifteen minutes as I scroll through my phone, but the shit I'm hit I'm Doing the reach back, yeah, little the flick, little, and getting yep, rid yeah. of it, putting it away. People think that's a trick, though, right? Is that really work? 
Does that really eliminate it the helps, smell but right it doesn't away? Help eliminate. A lot, yeah. Really? I. Oh, yeah, it's curtsy. This is an old. I saw that on a surreal life. One of the girls on there. She said that's her trick. She. And just quickly get rid of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, oh, there's, I think there's probably some truth to that. Definitely. The uh, the trick that I heard way back. This is like when I was listening to Waddle and Sylvie. Sylvie, when he would like his first getaway with his uh, new. I think he married her. If they were on a trip together and they were sharing a bathroom. He would bring matches in there, and as soon as he shit, he would light a match. That's a good. Trick. And then I think I think that's a good trick because that match smell is nice. It absorbs oh, yeah. the odor. Yeah, and yeah. it overpowers the odor. Oh, yeah. So I feel yeah. like that's like I might just have to start leaving matches on the on the back of uh, back of the toilet. That's a very good trick. Yeah. Um, Dave, I like at first I was like, "What are you saying, dude?" But you're you're right. There is something to what you said. Yeah, there obviously, is like I, I don't want to say I enjoy smelling my own. Yeah, poop, yeah, 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 yeah. But, but like, it's not. It's like I mean, we're just gonna let him. Like he literally said, his shit doesn't stink. <laughs> no, I didn't. That's basically I said the stance. It, it he doesn't. Took. It yeah. doesn't nauseate me like other people's. Yeah, shit no, does. I, I think that's like that out there on our exactly. door is a lot worse than. And now that we're on the subject, really but, quickly, one's last time everybody shit their pants. Because it happens to everybody. Every single person on earth. Jerry, is. you want to start? What was the date yep. of that? Just the video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think like a uh, a full-on shit, I, I, I don't recall. I've done a shart in the last Yeah, years. like a shart's yeah. more common. Definitely. Like, yeah. Does, this count, does yeah. a shart count? I don't think I a shart counts. Oh, so, it, yeah. It it's, counts, dude. You're getting rid of that underwear. Yeah, yeah but that's not full-blown shitting your pants. Like, you're not clumping turds. No, but he, I mean... No one does that. I would hope. Like I, Jerry, Jerry's was like a diarrhea emergency. Yeah. But yeah, that happens though, dude. If that guy's that's sitting not, on a fucking, I don't think that's turds though. No, but if he's sitting in the Lincoln Tunnel, like that's like a, I don't know, like the situation of what happened. But like that, a real turd. That wasn't a turd. That was liquid. Yeah, from what I recall. Well, yeah, he got stopped at fucking Pizza Land. He was with Tank and Dogs, and he fucking, <laughs> you know, <laughs> was that, he had a tough one. Uh, um, I think it should why, be. You just said human shit, though. That was interesting. Oh, there's different shit. Yeah. Well, I'm. T yeah, I mean, like, sh what do you mean? Like, were you you want to talk about dog shit? The fuck you know about dog shit? Yeah, that is a good question. What do you mean? You act like I never. Well, spelled you're dog like shit? differentiating me, me saying human shit. What other like bird shit? I'm trying to think of other shit. There's lots that's of in my animals that shit that smell bad. Yeah, yeah and it all smells bad, but we world? eat like human much shit is worse what you're than taking. What? dogs. Why did you say dog shit? Yeah, well, human I know about shit. dogs. All right, I'm walking into a before? public restroom and it's July. It's 97 degrees outside. It fucking rained the last three days. It's super humid. There's a food festival down the street. Somebody fucking didn't take care of the egg. So a lot of people walking around got stuff in their bellies. They've been going into this public bathroom, just blowing out these fucking stalls all day long. And then I get stuck there the next day. Nobody's cleaned it. And you walk in and you just get punched in the face. Yeah. All right. Is that a fair enough description? Did I, did I put everybody in that bathroom with me smelling that shit? Yep. It, we're at a Chicago Park District. Uh, we're waiting for a fucking youth basketball game to start. All right, human shit. Off you don't. The board. There's no comfort for. There's. It's not a comfortable place for you to go shit. So you have to go shit, and that's the. And then the smell of all that other shit that's been accumulated in this place. Human shit off the board. I think naturally, it, it's so chalk. But I'm just gonna go it because Dave said already. I'm just gonna go fart. We're, just, we're gonna we're gonna stay chalk. We're gonna stay chalk, and I'm gonna go fart. Yeah, uh, farts clear out rooms, man. They clear out rooms, and uh, they have the noise to go along with it. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes, mm -hmm. and they there's something naughty about them. There's also something funny about oh, them. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'll yeah. never yeah. Yeah. A yeah. good fart where it's just like the prototypical fart noise, like I can't do it. It's got the vibration. Yeah, it's, 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 a, it makes me laugh. Can I make a confession? So we were doing that hunting trip, and I'm in the deer stand with Sidney Wells. I know Sydney Wells pretty well at this point, but she's still a girl. And even though we were outside, I still felt like I had to hold farts in for like <laughs> sitting oh. in the stand for hours. I was letting them fly. Well, you because, were with fucking Sean. Yeah, I was yeah. with that doofus Sean, Sydney's producer, and I, I, my stomach was every time I'd sit down, be like, you'd hear my stomach yeah. noises, and I didn't want to spook the deer off. Yep. Good thing I didn't. So I would in the end when we would get done with hunting and we would go to get a meal afterwards i was intentionally holding the door for everybody and then as everybody walked <laughs> in i just let those farts rip and then follow crop dusted outside though the canton family restaurant you crop dusted. outside 
It was courteous of me. Yeah, but people are walking in that door. Well, maybe not immediately. It's outside. The wind's going to take it away. But I think that's pretty courteous. Yeah. Noble, it, even, like, I would say. Like I said, it, it's a chalk pick, but there's a reason why farts are, are farts. And, yep. and it plays. It's, it's good on the graphic. It's When you think about something that smells, farts is like, what's the Roth blotch test, test? Something like that. Farts. Yeah. R- Rorschach? Worst smells. R- Rorschach. What would you call it? Rosh Blotch. Rosh Blotch. I think, I think Dave <laughs> did that. Dave said that. Rosh Blotch. Farts. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, no, it's a... Worst smells? Farts. <laughs> top of the board. So, yeah. You know what else makes me laugh? There's every so often I'll see it on Twitter in GIF or GIF form. Uh, yeah. It's like the x-ray footage of the dude farting. In the, I think it's like a TSA machine or something. And it just goes poof, like right outside his jeans. So it just makes me laugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I hear you. Um, all right, Jerry, you're up. I'm going to go with uh, Bad Breath. Ah, yeah, bad Breath, okay. and here's why. You know, there's a lot, and, and there's more people than you think, especially in the Barstool HQ over here in New York City. <laughs> there's just certain people you avoid in the morning. Do you want to name you know, names? I've been here a little over a year now. Um, there's certain people that I just try not to contact with in the morning. Um, just, just really poor hygiene and, and Bad Breath. I mean, it's tough when you're trying to have a conversation with somebody. And you're just yesing them to death and be like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and you're just trying to get away as fast as possible. So bad breath makes my uh, makes my draft at number three. You gotta, you, you might have to do the fake phone call at that point. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, sorry, yeah. I got a call coming in. <laughs> Dude, now, now, is there someone in particular you're thinking of, though? Oh, yeah. Name sure. names. It's Big Cat, uh, isn't it? I'd rather Are they not. in content? Uh yes yeah <laughs> okay <All right. laughs> yeah it's a, a lot of people it's a disease Jerry yeah yeah I guess like you know just uh, root canals not being done you know mm. shit like that not brushing the it's tongue. Francis I think <laughs> it's Francis that you're talking about he's got gingivitis hey talk about the tongue for a second Jerry a lot of buildup on the tongue people don't yep, know about you gotta it make, you gotta make sure you get the mm-hmm. tongue man oh I every single time I brush my teeth I'm gagging because I'm brushing the shit out of my tongue and every so often I'll hit the little ding dong ball on the back of my throat with the toothbrush I'll just go ah. the ding dong ball what is you, that called I don't know I call it the ding you dong ball you throat yourself with pretty your much toothbrush? pretty <laughs> much you can't risk bad breath though bad breath I think it is arguably worse than human shit because it's unexpected. Everybody expects shit to smell bad. When you walk up to someone who's got bad breath, it hits you like a brick in the face, like oh, straight yeah. up Home Alone style. Suck brick, kid. Yeah, it, a hot know, girl with bad breath is tough too. Man. I know one too. It's, it's, <laughs> I know one. <laughs> you got one you do, the girl you got I went one, to college. Yeah, one in the chamber, right? <laughs> no, I haven't talked to her since college. But a girl I went to college with, very attractive girl, played volleyball and everything, and she had fucking <laughs> rancid breath. <laughs> always, like always, perpetual <laughs> rancid breath. It's tough. Just like you, those identifiers. Do not advance the conversation that much. Like I telling that. us what sport she no, played. See, like I love his, that. No, I love that. Just That's amazing. Like, Everybody you who's listening, all my friends from and college, she they know exactly fucking, what I'm talking about. There's this fucking cul-de-sac. <laughs> but that's great. That's like a blue chip prospect, but it's like, but you know yeah, what? Every like, like, volleyball players are always toned oh, yeah. and attractive for yep. the most part. See, that's, that's like... Uh, I was setting the stage. That's but like a really good ones thing. All right. There's some big volleyball players. Oh, I know a few. Some good looking girls, too. Some big 6'4 girls big ones pretty girls see and that, that's what i kind of like about this draft too like i like obviously that's that's a little chalk too but i think early it's going to be chalk i think the later rounds are when it's going to be like it's going to be very personal it's going to be like oh really yeah. you don't like that and i got some because i got some stuff ones. too yeah. yeah uh bad breath yeah good pick especially yeah. like you know um yeah and obviously the, the four of us in here like you know in like a bar setting mm-hmm. it's it's tough you know like yeah, it, like because that's where the music's playing loud. Someone gets close, close to talkers. you, and it's just like, all right, like I, <laughs> I know what you're trying to say, but like you've sucked too, you sucked down too many of these Red Bull vodkas, and I'm like, I'm literally huffing down Red Bull fumes from you. So. Yeah, it's tough. Right, yeah, uh, Chief, you're up. I'm going uh, vomit. Uh, vomit is the one smell out of all of these so far that if I smell it, I am inclined to vomit myself. Like that smell for whatever reason just gets to me. So if it's, you know, like you're walking into a bathroom, there's just vomit everywhere and it has that kind of like distinct smell. It almost like stings 
your nostrils if it's bad enough. And then that makes me want to puke. So it just perpetuates the problem. And uh, yeah, so I think I think vomit is a uh, I was almost relieved it wasn't vomit out there. Like there was shit. It's, it's like to me, they're that close. Like vomit is just disgust me and the smell is awful. Yeah. 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 It, and it could um, the thing about vomit, it could take on many forms of life, I feel, too. Yeah. Well, what do you mean? Like if you vomit could take it could smell like what you ate. Right? Yeah, that's definitely oh, yeah. true. Yeah, it could be, you know, but it, it's never a good like you can no, identify like, it, but it's like a rancid version. of. Oh, it. yeah. Like if you have, you know, like I like we, we played this this uh, drinking game called Wager one time and this guy, my buddy, like, you know, puked up. It was like cream of wheat, you know, but like cream of wheat don't smell bad. But when you vomit it up, you don't want to smell oh, vomit, yeah, cream of wheat. Yeah, you know? gross. I think have you ever been sick and you're puking, but there's just nothing to puke up and it's just a stomach bile or yeah. whatever. That's I think that's the worst type. That's it. That's a, I don't know if that's the it's, worst. It's one so to me. sharp. Yeah, if that's that's right like the that's like it. the nostril stinger a little. Yeah, bit. Yeah, exactly. It, yeah. Just, it like burn. Oh, horrible. Yeah, vomits, vomits bad, vomits bad, vomits bad. White Sox, Dave. I'm a. This would have been my first overall pick if I had the first overall pick. Um, with all due respect to our friend Johnny Stramaglia, who is just here, I'm going with dead fish. Um, obviously, he's not in the fish game necessarily, is he? He's a fish monger, what? dude. But he, it was, <laughs> what do you mean he's not in the fish he game? He is like Supreme the Supreme leading... Lobster. That's not a fish. You think they only they, broker lobsters? They sell. We I stop don't know. with crustaceans. We don't I, have fresh they, ahi tuna. Okay. Well, there we they go. They did everything. With all due we, respect to him. With all due respect to him, we took. It was Carl, Dante, and I took the the yeah Supreme Lobster Plant Tour, where we're throwing fish. It's in the the opening cut of every stool scene in Chicago, and. Um, you walked out of there and you knew exactly where you were. Like, and it, that's a smell that attaches itself to you. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, if, if have you ever been fishing and like have a chum block? Yes. Uh, like deep sea fishing, mm -hmm. it, it dead fish is to me the worst smell on planet Earth. I I can't get over that smell, and it, I forget where I, I it was a movie. I want to say smell is uh, it, it sticks in your memory longer than any other sense that you hmm. have. Really, it's something like that. Yeah. I've never heard that, but I think I believe that. It, I, I, I'm wording it poorly as I do with everything, but <laughs> like the the smell of dead fish. And I'm not talking about like seafood, of course. I'm talking dead fish, like a bunch of dead carp in the Calsag River Canal. It's just such an awful smell. Yeah, it's a, it's a good pick. Yeah, it's it's horrible. Yeah, it's horrible. Dave, you're up again. And then but it's like a necessary evil because I love seafood. Yeah. It is. And then for my next pick, I'm just going to go with sewage. Yeah, dude, you go to that, you know, you know, you go to that friend's basement who's just a little, uh, you know, it's a little, you know, you're sleeping and you feel the, the they got sewage the sump yeah. pump down there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's a little tough sometimes, but like that's that's part of that's part of just roughing it up, you know. Yeah, there is there is back where I grew up, there was a a water treatment facility uh, not far from me and every time you drove by it, you're like and holding your breath for that 30 second stretch or whatever it was. And just so you didn't get smacked in the face by that raw sewage smell. Oh man. It's, it, but it's a combination of everything that's going to get drafted today. Part it's, of it. It's bad. Yeah. Vomit, shit, et cetera, et cetera. It's an awful smell. Yeah. Sewage sucks. It's, um, yeah, like I said, I guess that's the best way to do it. Like that's like the the weakest form, like a like a basement that just has that mild yeah, sewage. Hint. Yeah, it's just like a tinted one, but um, like heavy sewage. Like everyone knows what that. I mean, I you know, like you were in the uh, you like I don't what you were. Yeah, in I, I, I worked underground. Yeah, so I mean, it it was it's really foul. You know, some are better than others, but you know, I think what really uh like sticks out to me is like when like stagnant water sits there for so long underground. It just smells mm. so bad. For sure. Mm. Yeah. And it's it, obviously the, the the summer was, was worse. The worst. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But usually we have masks on. But, like, if you're working on something you can't see, you take your mask off, it just hits you really hard. Yeah. Like you're, you know, you might skip lunch that day, right, Jerry? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, know? exactly. Just, I can't even eat. You know, I'll just fucking eat at 2.30. <laughs> uh 
Sewage. That fish sewage. Good picks. Uh, Chief. All right. I'm taking a porta potty on a hot day. Ooh, and yep. that to me, like I'm picturing like you're at Windy City Smokeout or some outdoor summer music festival and you're going to get the combination, whatever that blue fucking, I don't know what that substance is, but that blue substance, the shit, the piss, the vomit, whatever else is going on in there, it has a unique and distinct smell apart from these other ones. And it's that combination and it's like you, and it's like for whatever reason, it is always 40 degrees hotter inside that place, inside it's the like porta potty than it is outside. And like it just sits there and cooks and stews and it is awful. It hits you like a ton of bricks when you open that door. I just, how much different is that from human feces? I think a lot different because it's it, again, it's the combo. It's the combo, the vomit, yeah. the piss, the the blue substance. Like it's and it that's, sits there, and that's that's a it cooks. It yeah. rots. Yeah, because yeah, it's breaking it's down. A good in point. There. He brings up a good point. Who he does? Br- Carl brings up a but good point. But it's a combo. There's urine. <laughs> there's there's puke. Yeah, there's, there's all sorts stale of byproduct that your body doesn't absorb. I'm sorry byproduct that your small intestine and body doesn't absorb in the digestion process yeah yeah feces all of some it. of it all of the above it's combo it's the combo yeah it's that's it's, like saying you know so it's the way the porta because when the porta potty well a clean porta potty mm-hmm. that's been just clean a fresh new one doesn't actually is rather pleasant right it's a rather pleasant experience you you took a fresh so now it's the it's the human the feces broth, that I has to get mixed soup. into it um i don't know if that's nuanced enough I think it definitely to satisfy is. Uh, my threshold. All right, you're free to veto, but uh, you took the broth. I took the the soup. I'll throw a single veto. I, okay. I'll throw a single veto. Here's 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 how I equate this. Okay. So you took human shit. Dave took vomit. I took vomit. You you took vomit. This is almost a porta potty. Is almost when someone goes to the goes to the uh, the gas station or the Seven Eleven, and they go to the fountain drinks. And they do the suicide. They take a little bit of everything because the porta potty's got a little bit of everything. Okay, you it's the con- yeah, it's, it's a combination the of shit, and it changes it. It's got piss everywhere. Yeah. It's got the blue stuff, and there's something about the porta potty that you actually you got to stare down the shit. You know? Oh you, yeah, you, right, right. You're looking down the hole at it. Yeah, yeah. I and it's know. always like a perfectly burnt sienna shit. You ever notice that? Uh, no, that you, I, I try to avoid it. I feel like I notice the blue more than anything else. I don't know. I feel like it's like a perfectly like white toilet paper uh, nestled on a fucking burnt sienna what do you, log. Women, Jared, what do you think? You like a porta potty? You you like one? You I, see when you like one? I, I I honestly, I don't mind the smell of a porta potty. Whew. Yeah, I don't. That's, That's kind of shocking. Up I mean, maybe because I used them for so long. I mean, I've used them for. You built the tolerance. Five, five years, you know. I just got used to it, I guess. Is it? Is it a? Can it be a place of solitude on a job? Like, can you go in there and relax, or is it? Is it always just business? I don't know about relax, but uh, get away, get on your phone a little bit, um, five minutes tops, maybe. Um, then it starts to hit you. Then, then you got to get out. And then just because they're outdoors, if it's like cold outside, would the seat stay warm? Like say you go in there and then another guy goes in there, or does the seat get cold quick? Because no, I hate a warm cold. seat. It's, okay. it's cold. It's cold in there always. Yeah. I, like I've, for someone like Jerry who uses it for his job. Like regularly, like, yes. I would know this from like my, my buddy who 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 works in that kind of trade and whatnot. It's That's the worst part is the temperature. Because in the summer yeah. you're just sitting there sweating, taking shits. Yeah, yeah it's cooking, and, and it's cold in the winter. So you're like, yeah. you're you're miserable. So I can't say that I've ever used a porta potty on a job site. I, in my head, it's maybe less offensive because like you kind of know who's taking the shit. It's not like hundreds or thousands of people going through yeah. when you're at and you're at uh, Windy City Smokeout or something like that. You know, like it might. Yeah, and those guys, you keep throwing you better, Winter City under the bus. They got air conditioned porta potties. Well, like trans- for us. Yeah. Yeah, the rest of the people go into the UC for it. No. I'm pretty sure they do. I've used the porta potty there. How about Elite Dave? Davey Elite. Yeah. He's oh, the artist, but here's the thing about me. Those are fucking yeah. spectacular. That's like your Uber shits idea. I know. Yeah. Oh, Uber, you, can you run that back for the people? Uber shits needs to be a thing. It needs to be a thing. <laughs> there needs to be someone who drives around. With a nice porta potty or a trailer tractor, hitch thing, 
where they have a, a clean porta potty because there's too many houses with house parties who are too crowded that either has one bathroom and like it's a bad situation if you got to go through a bunch of people and you come out and it smells like shit and then you're like caught red handed. So if there's a situation where you could just hit an Uber and it pulls up and you just catch a shit real quick, you walk outside, someone thinks you grabbed a smoke, someone mm -hmm. thinks you just stepped outside to take a call. Little they don't know. Little do they know that you just took a shit and then you come back back I in. I feel like doing Genius. those at like Bears games. Like you just like, hey, like we're just outside the tailgate area. Come take a nice clean shit if That'd you need nice it. That'd be nice too. Yeah. That'd be nice too. How much did you pay for uh, Uber shit? Dude, th the price of not being known as I took a shit at a party it's and I walked better, outside right? in front of like a bunch of girls is like 20 bucks. Yeah, at least. At least. At least. Oh, yeah. Right? You don't want oh, that. Dude. No. Now at this age? Well, yeah. I mean, at this age, like I'm taking the dump. I don't know. Well, you're also married. You're that, talking about. That changes no, things. I mean, I that, a little bit. I'm old. I'm going to be 36 this year. Like, that's not that. If I was like 23, you could be like, well, you're married. That's different. I, what you're talking about was like, we're partying. It's college. It's post college. And there's a bunch of people trying to fuck in the room. You don't want to be the guy who just took shit. That's what you're saying. Yeah. Like when it's a bunch of young, Correct. horny kids out there that are very yeah, concerned about their. Do you think those guys would pay? I still wouldn't want to do it. Yeah. Like you don't you, want to take. Fuck no. Bro, I mean. I was Dave at a country at Joe's on weed say, maybe five years ago, you. and you I walked to the Whole rat. Foods across the street. Or if it's like a bathroom set up at like Barstool River North, like take the downstairs bathrooms, like nightmare out piss of the everywhere. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. I shouldn't say Barstool just, River North. It's just, never piss anywhere. Always clean. I'm saying generally bars. It's just two one seater. You know what I yeah. mean? Where it's like one in one out. Like you have to. There's always people out there waiting. And there's like demand. You're, yeah, you're caught red-handed. Yeah. you need a fucking spot to take a dump. Um, all right, whatever. Uh, Jerry, you're up. Uber shits. Yep. If you have the money and the inclination, reach out to Ed. This is a passion project. You should say that to this audience because it is it big is. enough to get this message. We're not just bullshitting. Like, Eddie does want to start this business. And if you have the capital or the infrastructure, send him an email. All we need is a fucking Silverado, a tractor trailer, a couple Porta Johns. And that's <laughs> all. A lot we of people need. listening to this have access to a truck in Porta Potty. And so. as a promo, if you. Maybe an app developer. Eddie will drive the truck to you and introduce himself for your first shit. Yeah, I'll hold the door for you. I'll fucking go. Friday it night, do it. Go do a video on it. I guarantee you this will become a business. Sorry. All right. Jerry. Uh, all right, little curveball here. I'm going stinky pussy. Um, <laughs> yep. And yep. I've That's had, a good I one. A story about, I got a story behind that. Um, oh. I, was in, I was in college. Uh, wasn't there for a long time. I got, got thrown out of there. But I remember... Me and this one girl, I won't mention any names. Um, we were mollied up. We were on Molly. Uh, I was in his own uh, talking politics with her, getting deep, getting intimate. And then, you know, next thing you know, we're upstairs in the dorm room. I take her pants off. And once I took the jeans off, not even, not even the thong, once I took the jeans off, it hit me. And even though I was mollied up, even though I was feeling good, it hit me that you can't go through with this. And the sad part about this, I went through with it. And <laughs> it haunts me to this day. Um, if you never had stinky pussy, you're probably just a virgin. It's a good pick. It's a great pick, Jerry. Uh, yeah, college, there was a girl I really liked. My buddy had hooked up with her a couple of times. I'm like, how was it? He's like, dude, it's amazing. Like, you got, uh, you should, you know, if you ever get a chance, it's great. Uh, years go by. I had graduated, maybe been down for homecoming or something, and she was there, and we hooked up, and it was a similar story to yours, where like as soon as it comes out, you just it just hits you so much differently, and it's different yep. than what you're saying. Stinky pussy is different than a pussy that might smell bad in that moment, or you know, like long hot day at a shower. We're talking about an infect a problem that follows yeah, yeast this girl around. Yeah, very serious, natural occurring stuff. And we had sex, similar thing. I don't want to do this. You do it. I called my buddy and I told him, I said, you know, well, that girl we just hooked up and he just bursts out laughing. <laughs> How bad? <laughs> Why didn't you tell me? He goes, I've been waiting this whole time in case you, and I want, oh, no. you have to experience it for yourself. And to this day, it's a great inside joke for me and him when we see each other, smaller fingers. It oh. can bring guys together is what I'm saying. If you have a yeah. shared experience, Eskimo brother, but stinky pussy is a, uh, Ruins, ruins relation it can ruin relationships as, as bad as anything 
also know people and you know I think it's I, like, I know a guy who had a serious conversation with a girl and said you need to take care of that because I can't move forward and I love you yeah I think it's actually like a uh, biological like there it's like a pH or I, I've read or no yeah pH and acidic and it's, it. and it's well, I've yeah. heard like I've yeah. well, like because it's like mystifying like it's like yeah. why yeah. is it like you gotta take care of it. what's well, the I mean girl you know if you spend a lot of time and like you've heard girls crunch wrap supremes and drinking mountain dew like you're gonna get old it ain't gonna work out for you the body no. chemistry is all thrown off yeah but like you've heard girls talk about it and they're like oh no it's not like a like something's wrong like it's not like a it's not that kind of yeah. issue like it like there is something deeper where there is like there's and a, guys have our own problems too yeah, we, yeah, a lot yeah, of guys yeah, got yeah. their own problems i'm not just isolated i'm not just bo i'm not picking on girls now and saying that all everybody's got a stinky pussy correct just talking about the pick but yeah, Jerry, it's a uh, it's a great pick. It's a good pick. Um, was that, that the only time, Jerry? Did you is that it? Was that the one one time? Did you go back to it? It was. There was other times, not with that girl, but this one I remember was the worst of the worst. And like I didn't even, like I said, the gene. Once the genes came off, I remember like, okay, this is going to be a problem because the thong isn't even off yet. It just, I just sticks in my head. What color thong? Did you suck it up still? No, that I didn't. That I didn't. I wow. fucked her though. That's that's like, <sighs> Dave, you've been. That's like a fuck you to them. You think so? I, I mean, so you're eating out every girl you sleep with? No, absolutely. Fuck you guys not. are having cross channels here a little bit. No, I'm saying you. So you you finish the job. Like you, he said, didn't sucked get out. it up. He means you dealt with adversity. He doesn't yes. mean you you slurped it up. Oh, oh, okay. I, I uh, yeah, I, I meant I meant like you finished hooking up with her. You came. Oh yeah. You blew yeah. a load. Oh yeah, I thought you meant you were talking about me eating her out. No, I wasn't. I meant like you didn't just get out of bed and say sorry. You, you got a dirty box. No, <laughs> I mean I, I was mollied up. I mean Molly okay. gets you really horny. <laughs> um, any comment on this, David? It's it's the worst. It's the worst. It's not. It's not. It's not, it's not fun. It's, it's not a bad possible. situation. It's the what's the opposite of an aphrodisiac? Like a boner killer. That's, That's actually what the fucking Greeks called it. Um, all right, it's to me. Before I make my pick, I do want to talk about the exclusive ticketing partner of Barstool Sports, and that is the Game Time app. Give the gift of an awesome experience this holiday season with Game Time. If you're a uh, Looking for a present and you're nervous that it won't arrive in time or simply forget the holidays. Uh, shop Game Time. Game Time tickets get delivered to your phone and inbox instantly. Game Time has all the best tickets and you'll get an awesome price on them. If you haven't given Game Time a shot yet, now's the time. We've been using Game Time all year and went to a ton of games. Uh, Jerry, you've been to a couple games, right? Where have you gone yes. with the Game Time app yes, this season? Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. Um, usually hit up the Game Time app when I go to the Steelers game. Great, great app. Great people over at Game Time. Love them. They certainly are. Download the Game Time app. Go to the account tab to create a login. Redeem code DOGWALK for $20 off your first purchase. Terms do apply. Uh, download Game Time last minute tickets. Lowest price guaranteed. Um, can't recommend it enough, guys. It's, uh, hey, we're, we're very close to Christmas. We're, we're near the finish line. Hop on that app, buy those tickets, and uh, give, it, give that gift. Give One that, more time, what's the promo code for the people at? Dog walk, Dave. Dog walk, there you go. Thank you, David. Um, all right, it's to me. Huh. All right, I'm going to go with... Uh, I'm just going to go with B.O. I'm going to go with some body odor. Um, someone gets a little too close, and uh, and uh, you, you smell that. They got the underarms. They didn't hit the stick with it a little bit. And uh, it's always disgusting. I don't know if you guys have noticed this either. Do you notice that particularly Under Armour shirts or dry fit shirts in particular? Like, yes. 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 It amplifies yes. it. Big time. Yeah. People they, like. Yeah. We were, you know, we've talked about it. We were out hunting and you have a lot of that kind of dry fit material, fleece material. Dave was doubling, tripling up. Layers. I had like a billion layers on two there. hoodies, the big white, big heavy camo coat with the liner. We got in the car afterwards and he popped off all the layers and it was like it hit you in the face like yeah, a it did. ton of I had bad BO. He had <laughs> but I have to say nasty BO. I looked at my phone so Which anyone would in that scenario, but yes, whew, the you stunk. 
So Sydney has like an insatiable appetite for the death of coyotes. Her whole family does, and I imagine all hunters do. So we get to the tree stand. This is at like 6 a.m. And she sees one in her headlights, and she literally starts running it down. And this is after I, I had passed on shooting a coyote with a shotgun a day or two earlier. And they, like, yelled at me. They're like, oh, no, that's even better than a deer. If you see a shot, coyote, shoot it. It doesn't matter if it's, like, 80 yards away. Just throw an arrow at it. Throw a bullet at it. So fast forward to later that afternoon or morning, this at, like, 11 a.m. probably, I see a coyote. And I'm legitimately chasing this thing. I looked at my phone. I had three. I had walked 3.7 miles that day. I'm guessing that I chased this coyote for about three of those miles. And this is in a ton of clothes. So I get to the car and I'm just soaked in sweat, head to toe, soaked in sweat. And it was 25, 30 degrees out, whatever. And like Chief said, I ripped off the, I ripped off all the layers because I, at this point, I'm, I'm huffing and puffing from all the cardio work that I had just done chasing this animal. And I smelled myself, and I'm like, I hope he didn't smell it. But there was no way he didn't smell it. I smelled like asshole. Yeah, it was bad. But it was, was a bad. tough spot too. And it's you're pungent. Like, sometimes you're like, oh, yeah. fuck, am I like? Is that me? Hey, get away from me. Get away. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, do I fuck? Did I? You know? It, and you know where I really noticed it was hmm. when I was doing the mop. At the college basketball game. Oh, the yeah. Oh, I can imagine. Yeah. You smell it. It hits you in the face. That's a bad one. That's oh, yeah. Bad one. All those players were just fucking stinky, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude, yeah. They're, no one's going, I mean, probably barely any undershirts. They're going skin on skin. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, then you're combining the this, this stench from multiple people. So it's like a, it's like a super strain. Oh yeah, yeah, bo, yeah. Especially that, yeah. The, you're in the office. I'm sure everyone listening right there. They're in the they're in the cubes right now, or whatever. You know that guy that dry fit polo who just has no idea, and it's just like, <laughs> and he just reeks. Yeah, and I, it's tough. I feel I, I feel bad for him. He probably some people you just don't know. I don't I don't know. I don't, I, I don't this know might be a, this might be a me problem too. But I feel like back in the day where I used to have to go to go to a, like a real office where I had to wear you know business casual like button down clothes. If the first time you wear a button down, sometimes it like hasn't been to the dry cleaner yet, like a fresh shirt. Some for whatever reason, those ones amplify the bo too. And it's like, I, and you could feel the wetness sometimes underneath your armpits, and it is like a pungent, pungent kind of a like a it's it's bo, but it's like a little different strain. It is bad, yeah, bad bo. It is. Um, all right, Carl, back to you. Uh, I'm gonna take a dead body. Now I've never smelled a dead body, but a dead body is the thing that people compare the most to when they talk about smells. When you talk about how the murder gets solved, how they find the body, the odors, it would be disingenuous not to have dead body on an all time. I'm actually I'm like, I can't, there's going to come a time you think like everybody, you're going to smell dead body at some point, right? How many people do you think have smelled a dead body? I can't comment because I don't know. People what a dead say it's is. the absolute fucking worst smell. You go through in the prep for this, some of the worst odors of all time. The most routine thing people would say, you know what it smells like? It's so bad it almost smells like a dead body. I'm taking dead body here in the second round. I liked it first overall, but like I said, out of respect to Jerry, had to take human feces. Uh, going dead body. Jerry, have you ever smelled or seen a dead body? I got a funny story. This is actually a really true story. Me and my girlfriend, we were going to Target. A um, couple towns over from where we live, and we parked the car. We get out, and the smell it just it just hit us, and I was like, "What the fuck is that?" So we go into Target or whatever, and you know people are talking about it inside. Long story short, cops come, and there's a bunch of cop cars. They bring dogs with them. They're trying to find something. Anyway, we pack up. We leave. About I think a day or two later, we read in the paper. There was a dead body in the trunk of, of a, a car in the Target parking lot. Jesus. Yep. I don't and know if I'll I would call that a funny story. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, it's bad. It's a bad, right? It's a bad smell. Yep. You know, what, what is, that? is that? That was pretty recent, too. That was about, like, probably, like, nine months ago. Oh, oh really? shit. Yeah. Oh. What's that, the rigor mortis, they say? Yeah, I don't know. I don't think that causes smell. Now, you got to think, though, that there is some sort of, like, evolutionary reason why a dead body smells so bad and why it hits the human senses so much that these people could be walking around. Well, you, I mean, it goes into your first pick, too. You do shit after you die. So yeah. that's like. Uh, I don't think there's Do you smell. really? Yeah. 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 Well, body, like. Depend, right? Does it depend or what? Everybody no, think, shits when they die? 
pretty positive. Everybody I think your, your body flushes your out anything that's bowels yes. just release. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah, there's like a lot of factors. You know, if you got a cat or if you got like an animal and like it goes hungry, it'll start eating you. Yeah. Yeah. Cats will do that. Dogs won't do that. Dogs will just sit there next to you. You wouldn't know or appreciate it. Yeah. We'll never know. Yeah. Dead body. Y'all want to see a dead body. Or is that boys in the hood? Yeah. Y'all want to um, see dead body? I uh, I can't. I've seen. I believe I've only seen my grandpa at his funeral. And obviously he was all prettied up with frankincense and myrrh and all that. Formaldehyde. Yeah. So I can't. I would imagine it's very bad. I think part of the reason human shit smells so bad is that our diets as Americans especially are just brutal. Eating a ton of processed shit that's not easy to digest, all that. So I would imagine that maybe that has something to do with a dead body. I don't know. I think dead bodies would probably always smell bad. Yeah. Some but if you're shitting all the, you know, garbage yeah, we eat maybe. out every time you die. I think it's I think the smell is less to do with human feces and more with the decom decomposition I of I think you're right. With human biology. But I'm biology. saying you're still like assuming you got food in your yeah. stomach, it's still in you and it's I don't know. I don't know. Just throwing it out there. Carl, you're up. Um Okay. This is this is disgusting. This was when I was a kid, my uh, my buddy played hockey, and the dad had a Tahoe, and they just they would never take the equipment out of the back of the Tahoe. Fuck, dude! I it's I was the gonna, stinkiest fucking shit of all time. I thought I'd get back. To no, I thought I'd get back to me get too. Out of here. I thought I was fucking gonna, shitty thought. hockey. You you should take it in the first round if you're gonna be the hockey guy. To be honest with you, there's nothing. The fact that you thought that this would be available, at, like, <clears throat> you had a chance to take hockey, you didn't. It's the hockey equipment. And you guys just leave it around. It just sits you in guys a big stink. fucking bag. Yeah. You know, well, all the money it costs mm-hmm. to get ice time as a kid. You know, we didn't. There, nobody where I grew up in Oklahoma was playing fucking hockey. You go out to Orland Park. You go up to Schaumburg. You know, you get out. People are playing hockey in this city. Uh, and it costs a lot of money. It, it's very expensive to get the ice time. But then they just don't fucking clean the equipment. I don't get it. it You're going to say you kind of like that smell, I bet. It's... It's there is a little that's why I didn't take it early because it is like a little bit of a nostalgia thing, too. And I, I, I would have taken hockey locker room. That's what I, I had. In my I list. had a hockey bag because there's some kind of combination of like the heat, the ventilation, the BO, the, BO, the rubber flooring. Like it, it is a very unique. It's not a good smell, but you walk in, you're like, all right, let's have a couple hours with the boys. And there is just something like Harry's Harry's laughing over there because he knows it. Like Harry's a hockey guy, and there is something kind of like similar to what Ed's saying with the dry fit, where it's a lot of like it gets into that foam equipment uh, and the padding, and then it's like that like the dry fit kind of plasticky uh, nylon uh, fibers for everything else. There's a little leather with the gloves that get real stinky, and the skates get real stinky, and uh, and it's a bad smell. I'm not going to say it's a good smell. But there is a little bit like a little bit of nostalgia. You smell it and you're like, ah. and I only smell it probably once a year these days. And, it, and when I smell it, it I actually brings a smile to my face. When we did the uh, Jeremy Roenick thing a couple years ago. That was like five years ago now. Yeah, a while back. That, oh. It's so, it's so bad. You walk into that locker room and you're just like, what the fuck is wrong with you animals? <laughs> and Chief was, he's like, yeah. Hi, you ever got a whiff of one of these, Jer? No, the it's the same thing as a football locker. No, for the it's most not. Part. Anything with like it's pretty hockey similar. Hockey is this like ice skates when you, you you know you use them at Bryant Park when you go ice skating here in New York City. A bunch of people use them. Eh, that's the closest though. Yeah. Yeah. It's gross, dude. It's <laughs> this was my next pick. Yeah, so man, it has a little bit of slime, a little bit of slime on the you know, like you could it, like it, nothing ever fully dries out. Yeah. I will say like when you get to. Uh, like a little bit higher level like when i got to like that uh, prep school like we had like it you lost that smell oh really yeah because they would dry out your they would hang your skates and dry things out and like you had your own like laundry room like off the locker room and they took good care of it so you don't think like uh the hawks locker room smells like no stench i've been in it It doesn't doesn't smell damn yeah that kind of sucks yeah it does kind of suck (laughs) <laughs> but I'm sure, like, when they smell it, because they practice at that fifth third, and, like, Kane, Kane has, like, when we played in that charity thing, yeah, 
everyone and that had a ton of nhl players all the guys were crammed into like the smaller locker rooms yeah and then kane's just like yeah fuck you guys i'm getting dressed in the hawks locker room <laughs> he got dressed by himself so it is what it is it's not a great smell but it is it is like home in a way so bad yeah um all right it's to me uh before i make my pick i want to talk about rollback active wear uh best fit best feel now that it's the holiday season there isn't a better gift than rollback it's no secret rollback will be my go-to gift this holiday season and it should be yours too their newly released performance joggers are incredible functional versatile and comfortable Roback's performance hoodies are also the most comfortable hoodies out there. Nothing beats putting a Roback hoodie on after waking up on a cold day in the Windy City. Uh, we have our own uh, polo. They're sick. Sharp. I'm holding it up right here. Uh, the 312 polo. They're in our shop. Uh, store it up. Barstoolsports.com. You can check that out there. Or or just go to Roback.com. Use code DOG at Roback.com for 20% off all new customers. That's spelled Roback.com, R-H-O-B-A-C-K.com. That's 20% off all polos, Q-zips, hoodies, and joggers with code DOG. The best part is they'll be releasing new gear throughout the holiday season, and you're not going to want to miss out. So get your holiday shopping done early and make sure to check them out at Roback.com. Uh, honestly, it's great stuff. I love it. I wear the joggers almost daily. They're great. So you're a big Roback guy, right, Jer? Yes, I am wearing the uh, joggers right now. Yeah, They're joggers are fantastic, and the hoodie is too. That I have it's really good stuff. Honestly, um, go check that out. Roback.com. Use promo code DOG. Twenty uh, percent off is a great discount for their stuff. It's really high quality. Huge and uh, it's sharp. It really is sharp too. Uh, go check out Roback. We love them. They're a great partner. Uh, all right, it's to me. <sighs> I'm between two. They're both very similar. Uh, you never want to be by these things. Um, I guess I'll go with one that's more prevalent. Um, I'm going to go with uh, just a dumpster, dude. A dumpster. You know, you, you get you get you get caught by a dumpster. It's just like, you know, it's it, it's it's gross. It's gross. I could have said the contents of a dumpster, but I think you should have because it's not the dumpster. It's sometimes metal. it is. Yeah, it is because even Sometime. an empty dumpster yeah. could it smell. smells, but it, it's metal doesn't really absorb odor well, if at all. I think there's something that you should have gone a little more specific, and it would have been like that could have gone number one. I so, I know what yeah. you're saying, and I was between that, but I feel like you only get caught behind those every so often. Yeah, I I think that so I have this when I lived on Chicago Avenue in West Town. I swear West Town has more rats than the rest. Oh, of there's the, a bunch. Yeah. yeah, the rest of the city combined. There's just always so like behind, uh, like the block behind my house, just call it Rat Alley, and you just walk down there and it, you could smell like the garbage and see the rats going, and I think like those dumpsters, I feel like they always had like maggots in the bottom of them too, oh, and yeah. that's where the, like I think the real smell comes from, and I don't think you get those in anything really besides. Those garbage, like the the bit, the big dumpsters, and those are, those are planted. That's why. It, like if, if I was gonna pick, I was between this and something that was mobile, and I'm I'm trying my best not to tip something here, but if it's planted, you walk by that every day, you know, and you you catch that waft, you know, it could be a windy day, whatever, and you can't avoid that. Or and if you got to throw it in, and if it's there, or even just your garbage can. It's just never going anywhere, and you just got to fucking, uh, it's disgusting. Yeah, and, like, you don't even want to touch the lid. Exactly. You know? like it's, it's fucking it's, gross. Dude. Yeah, it's bad. It's gross. It's a bad smell. And anybody that has a dog in the city, like, that's kind of, your dog takes a shit. And I feel like yeah, that oh, makes yeah. it, because everyone just walking by will do a quick whoosh, and throw it in the yep. dumpster. And that, I, I city dumpsters have to be worse than. They have to be. Have to be, because of the amount of <laughs> shit in them. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Sydney took us to the dump this weekend, and it just happened to be a little dumpster. And I'm like, and I was thinking to myself, I wonder what's in there. It's probably a bunch of just decaying dead bodies <laughs> and garbage, just rotting animals. I thought yeah. we were going to like a legit dump, though. No. Anybody um, else on dumpsters? Nope. I think it's a good pick. It's fine. Good pick, Jerry. You're up, Jerry. I don't know if I can use this, but I'm gonna go with baby formula slash milk spit up oh that is a bad one i, I think you can why can't I, why? I think you're saying because it's too close to vomit 
Oh yeah, yeah. that's a different I, smell. I think, it's a oh, different I, think yeah. I think you're I'm good, not, Jerry. Yeah, I think okay. you can. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I don't know how many of you guys have kids, but Zero. Uh, I just had my first one uh, 15 months ago, and my girlfriend is a girl is a girl who does like all this stupid fucking research on oh you you can't give them milk this time or whatever. Um, she does everything by the book, and we were having such a bad problem with his uh, reflux. And every time he would have a sip of formula, drink a bottle, he would instantly, right after it's done, just spit it up. And I said to myself, and I don't, I don't know, we did it because I forced her to do it. Uh, we switched over from formula to milk at about six months and just get, kept them on cow's milk. Since six months, hmm. he hasn't spit up one time. Since Interesting. Then. Hmm. Really? Interesting. I've never heard yeah, that. Yeah, I don't know what it was. We tried like five different formulas. Nothing was working. And then I just said, fuck it. She didn't want to do it. But I said, let's just put them on milk and see what happens. Just whole milk. And it worked. Nice. But some of that, when they spit up that shit, bro, oh my God, it's brutal. It's bad. I, I have a uh, four year old nephew. And well, I have multiple nephews, but the four year old specifically is the one that did this. He had eaten, and I was like, kind of just like tossing him in the air a little bit when he was, oh. I don't know. Then I'm maybe he's a baby, still a baby, and so I'm holding him up like this, and oh. he just and I'm like smiling at him. He just puked right in my mouth, oh. right in my mouth. It was the most disgusting thing ever, and then it was all over my shirt. Uh, it, it's it is a unique and horrible smell. Oh, so I think yeah. that's a I think that's a good pick. No, you're, uh, oh. you're right though for checking, Jer, but it's it is different, dude. It is different. It's I don't know how to describe it, but and you know too, it's like cuz I got a bunch of decent nephews too and you know the ones that it's just automatic. Yeah. Like I yeah. my niece it was just automatic. Like after she ate, she was just going to spit up and it's like, "All right, who's Who's gonna Who's gonna who's be got the one this to, time bomb? Exactly. Yeah. Who's got it? Who's, who's gonna Who's gonna carry the box? You know, uh, that's a good one. It's yep. a bad smell. Very bad. Chief, um, you're up. I'm gonna go with one. I'm, I'm, this is where my list starts to get a little bit more personal. And this is a smell that I didn't even know was a thing until four years ago when I got my dog George. Certain breeds have this uh, anal gland discharge. And I had grown up with labs. They didn't have it. So I had never heard of it before. And then one day I'm sitting on the couch and he starts licking his butt. And I'm like, what the fuck is that smell? And it is kind of like your dead fish smell. It would probably be the closest thing to it, but it is way worse than that. And like it's, and you basically, I have to take him like every six or eight weeks to when I take them to the groomer, they go in and they call it expressing uh, their anal glands, and they just get. I've never seen it done, but they just press out all the shit and whatever is making that leak, and it is the absolute. It's horrible. You can do that horrible. yourself if you get I, no, rubber you. gloves. I've heard that, and <laughs> I refuse. I will pay whatever it takes to get that. Done. Yeah, I whatever that dog groomer right. is getting paid is not enough. I don't. I think know the what dog though about. prefers to. To be your fingers though to secrete the anal, yeah, I'm not stuff. Doing it. Yeah, I no know. Thanks. I'm just saying, like, it's a better experience for the, than taking it to a stranger. They're looking at the vet. They're going, "You're not touching my fuck." They want, you know, it's yeah. cheap. Like, George wants your fingers. In his well, face. George has been going to this same groomer since the week I got him. So they, you know, he goes yeah. there and has a great time. They, it's the same three people, Damn. and it is. So I feel like that's one. Like it's like an if if you know you know, and I had never heard of it until four years ago. So I feel like a lot of people won't know it. But it is awful. And Harry, Harry producer Harry, sitting over here just nodding and smiling. He's getting it. You you got the anal gland secretion problem? Grew up with mastiffs. That's a huge problem with them. Okay. Damn, yeah. everybody in this fucking room loves dogs until they got to play with their anal gland and pay for their vaccinations. <laughs> we I'm, do all that in home. It's kind of crazy. We do all Scotty's it's, anal stuff in home. It's kind of crazy. I don't. I, I don't. I mean, I still love him, even though yeah. his butt leaks. Yeah, bro. If I had a dog, I'd fucking do everything for him. Yeah, but you won't even have a dog. Yeah, you won't. Well, I, the, but because I, I know because because <laughs> because the responsibility, dude. I, if I'm in, I, I don't mind in. the responsibility. Well, you won't fucking put his gland, bro. Yeah, I don't want it. I don't want it. I, there's there's people it. who are better at that than I am, and I want George to have the best treatment, and I'll pay I'll pay for it. There you go. Spun it. Anal gland. What? Checkmate. How do I write this? 
anal gland secretion. Uh, dog the anal name secretion <laughs> smells bad. Can I tell you? I said that on purpose because secrete is a it's a gross word. That is just a so gross anal word. dog yeah, anal gland like dog anal gland secretion. I don't like this. Yeah, I I've never had to deal with that thing. Uh, Fucking Christ. Uh, and, and Jack, don't I don't want to embarrass George on the internet, so don't put his face on the graphic for this. Thank you. <laughs> White Sox, Dave. I'm going to take it up a notch. I'm going to go with a shower fart. And it is different than a regular fart. It smells infinitely you, worse. You opened up the show and you were like, you know, not. We can't have a bunch of rotting stuff. <laughs> you literally. We, this, is, this is basically. The AC, we've got porta AC. potties, we've got farts, we've this got is the human second one. feces. It's different. Look, everybody it. who's ever farted in the shower knows that it is a different, and it's its own smell. It's way more intense. It's way more intense. It is. Okay. This is no different than the vomit. That is the one that opened it's up. The, so it was more intense when Steve O put on a fucking astronaut helmet and they fucking put a tube in Preston Lacey's ass and he farted. I mean, that's that like is. your main. But here, I think fart. I, into this he, face. Here's where my I think Dave should be able to get this one specifically. He's on record as a guy who will turn the lights off and sit in the shower fetal position for 45. Not fetal position. What's the position? <laughs> like this. Like okay. a coffin position. <laughs> coffin position. <laughs> trying to just just sweat out that hangover. You know Dave is ripping farts in that shower. Oh, no, I don't do that. Then how do you know what a shower fart? How do you know what a shower fart smells? How do you know? How do you know? How do you know? Everybody knows shower farts smell different. I have done it, but you're acting like I do it, like I just let it rip constantly while I'm taking my shower naps. That is not the case. Here and there, if I'm taking a shower, I just rip ass in there, and it's like, oh, fuck, that smells beyond God awful. You ever do a shower nap, Jerry? No. No? No. What do you think of this argument, Sherry? You think it should count? Is this different brand? Well, I mean, if mine counted, then I think Dave should That's count. That's what opened it up to me. And but I was my, gonna I would I would argue that my like the the adult throw up is totally I mean totally different Agreed. than than the baby. I yours can't comment on that because I don't know. Yours is just getting like a little bit worse. Yeah, yours is just like it's steam, so much steam more and distinct. hot water is involved. I actually think that like a, a tub fart is So worse. I could take a Dutch oven in the fourth round, basically, because I'm under the covers. Uh, the only reason I want to give it to him is because he's a shower nap guy. But now he's saying he doesn't do it while he's doing a shower nap, so now I kind of like don't Like fart want. is on the board at 2 Everybody, overall. everybody. Fart is on the board at 2 overall. Everybody has sh farted in the shower. I know, but now you're saying like, but here's it's bad if I fart in the back of a Greyhound bus. Have you ever gotten one of those? Or like it's bad if you fart in a rental car and you've got four guys driving. It's never not bad. It's a fart. Daytona. So the point is it's been drafted. Second but overall. My point is is that when it's it's when you're in the shower specifically, like a fart that doesn't. I change could fart here or the back of the Greyhound bus. Stop. I could fart here or in the back of the Greyhound bus or in an office wherever. And that fart smell in the same, the same, the same, the same. You go into a shower and you fart, and it's a totally different smell, and it is way worse. I think you got a better one on your little sheet. I think you could have got a better one. I got a couple coming up. <laughs> your little sheet. <laughs> uh, listen. <laughs> like, I, I get what you are saying, that Eddie's pick smells different. Based on circumstance. So it's a different smell. This is peanut butter and crackers. <laughs> Eddie, t Eddie took farts second overall. You cannot now take a specific type of fart. That's why there's a veto system in place. I mean, I, he took a specific kind of vomit. You're going to make me. I'm giving you all the logical reasons why this is not eligible, and you're going to make me veto it. it. it I want it because people out there listening know exactly what I'm talking about. You guys are pissed because you didn't get it and you didn't think of it. That's what it all boils down to. I mean, I'm trying to I'm trying to win this draft, so I say fuck it, just give it to them. All hey, right. that's strategy right there. But that might be strategy against Ed. Now you're splitting the fart vote. 
Yeah, but I, a, I'm going to have all those fart quotes because folks. everybody knows my fart is way worse than a typical fart. See, this is where if we had names on and the graphic, people would go, you're how always, the fuck did Lake Sacks Dave take shower farts when Eddie took And you're farts. always like, if you rip ass right here, mm-hmm. it's going to be kind of funny, probably. It'll smell bad, but I'd laugh at it, and we'd mm-hmm. call you out on the show about it. Correct. You're alone in the shower. Right. It's never a funny in the shower. I'm saying shower farts have been drafted by Ed. Second over, like it's part of Eddie's fart. He drafted vomit. He or talks, a different kind of vomit. I drafted a different kind of fart. Dave, you no keep, veto. You could keep shower. Fart. No veto here. Yeah. So it's the day keep, for round four. I'm gonna think about how. Think about some changes to these drafts for 2023. You could keep shower fart though. Okay. Just. I'm sounds keeping like it. A, sounds like a threat. You're up again, round, um, round four begins. So I'm at the point of my board where I want to change from like a disgusting smell to just a really bad smell. And there are differences. Um, once we open up that can of worms, I think you guys will understand what I'm talking about. I'm going to try to, I'm, I'm going to do something that might backfire, but. I'm going to do it anyways. I don't care. I'm going to save one pick for the next one because it's gross. But this one, I absolutely fucking hate, hate Take the it, smell Dave. of ammonia. It's not gross, but I fucking hate that smell. I don't care that it's a cleaning agent. I don't care that it does good things around the house for you. That smell is the worst thing on earth. I'm pretty sure it's like known hazardous to smell that. Like, I don't think that you're supposed to be smelling ammonia. When you're mixing it with bleach, you could die. Oh, yeah. You're not, we that's, did that once when I was a pledge. Uh, we were cleaning a house. Yeah. yeah. You'd we're, never do that. Yeah, yeah that'll bad. kill you. It was bad. But everybody, you know what ammonia smells like. You've mm-hmm. smelled ammonia. Everybody in here on the show has smelled ammonia. Everybody listening has smelled ammonia. It's an awful smell, but it's not like a gross smell like shit or a shower fart. Uh, I'm going to try to get my last nasty pick in, in in the fifth round, though. Uh, this is this is good, though, Dave. This is like um, what I said in the fourth and fifth round are going to be a little bit more like it's, less. Like, you know yeah. what I mean? It's not disgusting yeah. per se. It's mm-hmm. just no, like but when it's you just smell like, it, you're I don't like, like oh, that. No, I don't, I don't like that. Right. Yeah. Uh huh. I hate the smell. I yeah. loathe that smell. That's I. I don't think it's good either. I, I think it's I think it's a good pick, Chief. All right, this is another, like, a memorable one, a smell I'll never forget. When we were 14, we were, we were on, like, a cross-country trip in RVs going through Nebraska, and there was just this stretch in Nebraska that smelled absolutely awful, and it was all pig farm and pig processing Life plants. Oh, yeah. It wasn't just live. It was specifically pigs because then they have these, like, weird, like, retention tanks around them that is, like, the runoff from the pen, and it just sits and bakes, and it, so, I like, pig farms – like the like the industrial pig farms is the worst smell and it's so bad and toxic for the environment that it is illegal to like fly drones over them and see what's actually going on because they have like uh they lobbied for like a gag order on what actually goes on at those pig farms because and it is that gross and the smell is that bad that you could drive for 50 miles through nebraska and the air the whole air just stinks Yikes. have you ever driven through decatur illinois Oh, that's uh, got the it's got a very bad stench too. The yeah. entire city smells like fucking Yeah. I always just thought it was lost livestock. We, one of the colleges in my college conference was down there and every time we'd have to go down there it'd be like fuck, we're going to be stinking like I always just thought it was the livestock in general, but they got something down there with pigs. Maybe and it's, it's that. Awful. Yeah, so this is bad. just pigs? Pig farm. Pig, pig farm. Plant. Yeah. Um, yeah, cock can't comment on it much, but um, yeah, I like pork. I'll take. I like it too. It. It's delicious, but yeah. I'm, I'm bacon pretty, tastes good. Pork I, chops taste yeah. good. If that's what the cater has, I know that people say that a lot. Uh, pig farms. I heard that like on a hot summer day, if the wind's blowing the right way, you can smell it all the way in Champagne. I don't or know. Springfield, one of them. I think I've heard that too. Actually, well, we got our own stuff. We got yeah. our own farms. All right. Those things blow. Jerry? They blow north. Blow oh, I'm up? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Um, 
Uh, a little bit torn here. Uh, I'm gonna go with a nursing home. Ah, mm-hmm. uh, that yep, was gonna be my good. last pick. That was kind of old I, people. You got a little bit of you know a lot of stuff going on there. Jerry, you spent time in nursing homes. Yeah, my grandmother. My grandmother. Uh, she died in a nursing home. Uh, rest in peace. But yeah, she uh, took her last breaths in a nursing home. She was there for about a year. Um, and it was just too hard for her to take care of her at home with all of us. So she went there. Um, and I just remember just going there, and that smell is just. I mean, that smell could be like a second round pick. Oh, it's definitely. Yeah, it's, I didn't. That's it, what I was talking I, about. Gambling it, on. It was high work. on my board, but I thought I'd be able to get it in the fifth round. My grandpa had uh, Alzheimer's. Like he was on like a feeding tube for the last seven years of his life. Oof. It was very sad. So we would have to, but we would go there a lot, especially in the summer. And as soon as you go through like those sliding like um, oh, yeah. <laughs> electric, what do you call those doors? The the sensor doors or whatever they're yeah, called. Yeah, the fucking the sliding uh, doors. Yeah, the Walmart door. Door. Yeah, 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 the Walmart door. Yeah, <laughs> like it hits you, and it's like a combination <laughs> of that ammonia, like the food that it's they catheters eat, catheters and bedpans all, and shit. All the yeah. it, it is old newspapers, old everything, yeah. man. It's it's, it's such it's a like distinct a, smell. It's the only smell that like makes me feel depressed. Like genuinely, like it triggers yep. like that. It's bad. It's a bad smell. I don't have a will, but I'm gonna use this program as a will. If you, if I ever get to a point You're where just I need gotta to declare it, just all all you guys listening, okay. including you, Jerry, everybody on the show, producers. If I'm ever to a point where I need to get put, just like shoot me in the back of the head. My grandpa always said that. You, you guys gave me didn't the, grant gave me his, his wish. I mean, I was nine when he went in there. I didn't have a lot of authority. But, yeah, my Nana did not, like, she just couldn't let go of it. Yeah. And, like, he couldn't do anything, but he would pull his own feeding tube out every once in a while trying to trying to end it. So This is an awesome pick, Jim. Yeah. Great value Thank in the fourth round, dude. Yeah. Fuck. That's what I passed on. And it's got a little bit of everything, too. Like it's yeah. You're getting human shit there too. Yep. I worked in a nursing home as my first job ever. Really? Oh yeah. wow, really? You have had the weirdest fucking yeah. jobs. Norwood Crossing? No, no, it was not actually. It was Alden Nursing Home and Displains. I worked Sundays only, two to ten. What'd you do there? I was a custodian. Okay. Or I was housekeeping, I should say. I basically just What's the difference? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'd take out the trash, I'd mop a little bit, vacuum. Okay. But yeah, it was just, you know, you know, How long did you last there? Uh, I think nine months. Yeah, you know, and then eight o'clock, everybody left. I, you know, hop into the ice cream parlor, there you scoop go. a few scoops. <laughs> yeah, why not? You know, make some popcorn. Uh, it was nice. It was real nice. A friend of mine, growing up, her family, uh, they're like the CEO of law firms or law firm, uh, um, old folks' homes, and like I can't imagine having to go into one of those. I've I've only had one my grandpa who died like 15 17 years ago. It's the that it's it's burned into my memory. Yeah. Like I can't imagine having to go there every single day. Like yeah. you're crazy for taking that job. Yeah. And it, like Chief said, it's just depressing yeah. smell. My first but it was cool. I hung, I hung out with some of the old people. Like yeah, That's I nice. got fr- Did got you fr- fuck with them? No, 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 no. I got friendly with some of them though, you know. This old, this old guy George was a nice guy. We just go. pay a visit to him and just talk. Talk play shop some cards, yeah. play some yeah, yeah, yeah. Or yeah. Ruker. Exactly. I don't know how my Euchre? Euchre. Yeah. Yeah. Euchre? yeah. My Nana would go to church and then to the nursing home every single day for seven years. Every day. Bad. Really? Yeah. Yeah, it's tough. Yeah, pull the plug on me. You guys <laughs> all have Dave. permission. Dave? One of you. But yeah, there was a lot of human shit I would have to take out. God is my witness. I will have that plug pulled. Thank you. Yeah. And I'll enjoy it, I think, a little bit. Do you want me to do that for you? Yeah, I got I you would. if you do. I would. Okay. Yeah. This is legally binding, Jersey Jerry. Okay. <laughs> All right. It's to me. Um, I'm gonna go with sweaty feet. Sweaty feet. Someone pops shoes off, and it's like, put those motherfuckers back on. Those stink. Um, is it the feet that smell, or is it the shoes that it's smell? It's the shoes. It's the socks. It's everything. It's just sweaty feet. You know, it, it's it's a combination. Someone had their shoes too long. It's time to get new ones. You know, the soles are, are rubbed down to the fucking bone. Um, everything is just too too worn out. Um, it's an insecurity of mine personally. You never <laughs> want to be the guy with stinky feet, and I don't think I have stinky feet, but, the you know, in the chance that I do have stinky feet, like if I'm in the Wells' house this weekend, I didn't mm-hmm. want to take my shoes off if they asked. 
because I didn't want to be walking around with stinky <clears throat> hunting feet. I mean, you 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 stunk this weekend. I stunk. I stunk. <laughs> it was the last day. Yeah. When yeah, I was yeah. chasing that coyote, the rest of the days I was better. Yeah. You stunk too. Not as bad as I did. Yeah. I understand though. But I, I yeah, I didn't layer up like you did. Yeah. I don't but get... that's what it is. Stinky feet are they stem from the sweaty feet, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but there's something about like they're cooking in sitting stewing in their juices a little exactly. bit. Exactly. Yeah. And that's yeah. why sweaty feet is the pick, right? Sweaty feet you're like Yeah. Uh for me specifically, guys, I could appreciate going to a strip club and a girl working all night, feet are a little sweaty. I could appreciate something like that. But um, yeah, I get where you're going. Yeah, you're a foot guy. Can we? Can you get in? Yeah, there? I like I like a girl who's been working in high heels uh, all night and then getting that dance. She takes them off. I worship it a little bit. I think <laughs> feet are fucking disgusting. <laughs> I hate feet. But he's, sweet show. He's into it. Yeah. Hey, what about uh, Frank the Tank? He's never wore socks, right? No, never. What? He hasn't worn socks in a decade, I think. Yeah, he, yeah, he tweeted that. He's never worn – hasn't yeah, worn socks in 10 years. Probably such a – I have a hard time putting on socks sometimes. A little moisture on the feet, tight socks. No disrespect to Frankie Midnight, but that's got to be just an absolute fucking, like, workout. Man. Putting a, putting on a pair of socks for that guy is just – it's tough. I'd probably rather make Thanksgiving dinner if I was Frank than have to, like, labor over a pair of socks. I mean that as nice as I can. He's just a really big – Guy into something like a sock could be just a fucking nightmare. Yeah. I I don't, but I I think he just. I, I, has he ever explained that to you, Jerry? I know you can meet with him sometimes, and that's why that's why. <coughs> yeah. I, I bring him up yeah. to you because you look. Yeah, close I to mean, him. Frank lives next door. He's my neighbor. Uh, I just don't think he can physically put on the sock. Mm-hmm. Oh, is that? Uh, what, okay. Oh, I didn't know. All right. I thought I didn't realize that. That's ju- that's just my guess. Mm-hmm. I mean, I could always ask him. I mean, we take walks all the time. Mm-hmm. Oh, I thought it was just he doesn't prefer socks. I know people don't. Like it's the same way. I forgot who said they don't put on like underwear when they wear jeans, which I think is crazy too. Oh wow, that's wild. Yeah, I forget who said that. Down him on the cock. Feidelberg maybe. Down him on the fucking wrong? dick. Am I, am I lying about Feidelberg? And then you got to shake all your pee out because that'll just darken the. De- you got it. That's tough, man. Yeah. Um, but yeah, needless to say, the reason why I bring that up too is because if you're going barefoot in the shoes, like. That's your feet are rancid. You're ruining the shoes yeah, too, and you sm- they just smell horrible. <laughs> um, but all right, Carl, you're hockey up. locker room. Um, <coughs> hmm. I have a great fifth round pick, but I guess you know what this is. This is chalky because. Do we have you have guard? Do we have rot? I'll take rotten eggs. I'll take rotten fucking eggs. Mmm, smells like rot. It's just like a, another one of those. It's a, it smells so bad. It's the same for it. If you haven't smelled rotten eggs and and you smell them, that's why it's the go to rotten fucking eggs. If I say rotten food, I think the first thing you think is rotten eggs. I'm going rotten eggs in the fourth round. I don't love the pick as much as I love my fifth round pick. So if we want to be quick on rotten eggs here, that's fine. And any any comments on rotten, rotten eggs? eggs stinks. Yeah, there's a reason why, right? There's a reason why. And also, like... What is the reason why? I don't know if I've ever smelled a rotten egg, but I don't think the smell of, like, uh, like a hard-boiled egg is good either. So I, feel I like agree. It, I, I agree. think it's just, like, an elevated version, a worse version of that. Yeah, kind of. Hey, do you know what it smells like to me? It's not going to get drafted, so I'm going to say it. It smells like sulfur. Well, it is uh, it exactly was, what yeah. it smells like. Yeah. Uh, and I was going to pick that, saying. but I thought people wouldn't know what that is. But it, it is, and it's not just sulfur. It's a combination of that. It's yeah, a it's, sulfur it's like something. similar to that. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. an it's a awful right. smell. Yeah, rotten eggs. Rotten eggs. Rotten eggs. Uh, fifth round. Fifth round. Let's fifth round is, I, people might just get up and leave this. There are people that have been screaming at the top of their lungs listening to this draft, being like, what the fuck? How is no one taking a skunk yet? I'm taking skunk fifth round. Skunk spray. Um, you, you just drive, you smell it down the, the the potency and the pungency. You're driving down 57. It's late. You get a whiff of that skunk smell, or maybe there's one in the neighborhood or something, or you hear the horror stories of dogs getting bathed in skunk smells. Yeah. It's My, a skunk uh, smell. It's one of the all-time great defense mechanisms in the animal kingdom. I'm taking it here in the fifth it round. It is really cool how the skunk has evolved over the millions of years or whatever to the point where that's it's, it's just like I'm going to fucking spray this gas it just is so it's so intolerable to breathe in that my predators will run away 
I think there's something cool about yeah, it. Yeah, you can't yeah. fuck with a skunk. You no, see, people, everyone no. sees a skunk and they're just like, everybody, calm the fuck down. Like yeah. a lion yeah. would be like, no, I don't want anything to do with yep. that. You know what I appreciate too about a skunk is even when it's roadkill, even when it's dead and it's, it's lying in the middle of the yeah. road, and you drive over it, Your that stinks. motherfucker is still yep. yeah. my, exhausting. My dad's shit. dog got skunked a handful of years ago, Guinness, and. Uh, there's a, a groomer not far from him, I don't know, 15, 20 minute walk. And uh, my dad was gonna walk him there because he wasn't taking him in the car. And he he was, he was started to walk him there on a normal leash and it was so bad he couldn't handle it. So he went to Ace Hardware or whatever and he got a 50 foot just rope. And that's how he walked into the fucking, cause so he could have the distance between them. So yeah, Ace got- It happened to Guinness. my uncle one time and I gotta say, it was hilarious oh, oh yeah if yeah one of you like, guys got skunked i'd laugh my ass yeah you got to yeah what is it tomato juice that's, that's what they say but i guess I, it's not true i think I it's think like it's, an old wise yeah, but i remember myself. my uncle like did try that yeah did dad oh my he like Just all right i'm gonna come off as the fucking anti-dog guy but like that sounds like a nightmare your dog rolls in it's like fucking 11 p.m yep. if they're letting him out and he rolls in getting sprayed like that sounds yep. like a fucking uh, nightmare. That's never happened to me, but yeah, that sounds terrible. I don't yeah. see skunks downtown too often. I don't think I've ever seen. Yeah, them. I don't know if I ever have. Yeah. But, Dude, uh, they like they to like spray. They like jump up on their front hands. And yeah, they, like throw their ass up in the air and they just. Yeah, psh, yeah. I'm watching gifs of skunk spraying. Ugh. Ugh. And they just they had one I just saw it zoomed in real close to the, the anal gland secretion. There, I don't like, want to hear like that word again. Gross. Volcano, bro. It's gross. All right. To oh, this me, one's slow mo. Um, all right. I think I've been pretty chalk early, but I'm going to take a personal pick here. Um, I can't do this. I, I enjoy chewing tobacco once in a while. However, there's one flavor that specifically I, I can't do, and it's mint. Mint dip makes me turn for some reason. Mm. I don't know. You and need I think apple? Mint, apple's good. <laughs> I fuck with berry, I fuck with citrus, wintergreen's fine. Something about mint dip. Interesting. Did you have like a vomit experience or something? No, like it's just like, I don't know. I just don't like the smell. Of, and I mm. think like this will resonate with people in general because people don't like the smell of dip in general. Yeah. So I think it plays in that regard. But um, yeah, I'm going mint dip. Skull, like skull mint is just fucking, I don't know. I don't like mint dip personally, but if it's like no dip or mint dip, I have zero problem with it. I don't like. You're not throwing it out of bed. No. You're not turning it down. No. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I know. I, like I said. It's you just a, ruined your draft. But it's, it's a personal it's, pick. Yeah, it's nasty. But, you. It's but nasty I, to you. You said I ruined my draft. I don't think so because I do think there are enough people out there that will agree that they don't like the smell of dip in general. Yeah, but I don't think anybody would have dip on their list of worst smells. There's you don't think so? There's a million other things that we could have. No, I think some people do because it's a triggering smell. It triggers gags. That, no, that, that's a fair point. I still, the first time I ever drank alcohol, I it was sour apple smearing or green apple smearing off. To this day, 15, 18, whatever years later, I, I can't eat anything green apple. Yeah, and I know there's another one, green apple, the smearing off, the flavored vodkas like that, or burnettes, or any those it, things, oh, all fucking it's, trash. It's triggering to me, like you said. So and I then, get it. So how about... They don't sponsor us, Southern Comfort. That's Southern one. Southern Comfort, because that's like one of those those one of those boozes you get into as a as you get and into as a youngster. Kid, yeah. Yep. Uh -huh. And like, oh, a little SoCo lime. Like this this is what shots are like. This is fucking great. Oh, yeah. Let's do some more. I think everybody's got a bad junior SoCo year. night in their life. Oh, junior I, year, Danny O'Dee's basement. Oh, do you, really? Do you, how how well do you remember? That's a great it. basement. That's a Pat, great place to party yeah. too. Passed out. So, SoCo. My bad one. I Shout remember Sorry, taking Jerry. like the last shot, and I would stopped tasting the SoCo, and all I could taste was the sugar. I remember. Do you do you remember that at all? Has anybody had this experience? I've I've done this with Captain too, which is also shitty rum. I hope they're not a sponsor, no. but um, and should, if they I, are, whatever. Taste, Dave, speak your mind. You're sure. you're super fucked up, and you lose your sense of taste almost to the point where you can only taste the sugar. The fake sugar that you're using, so. No. Mint dip is my pick. Like you said, I think it is a triggering enough where I don't think I tank myself. Um, I stand by mint dip. It's my, it's a personal. And one. a lot of people are just repulsed by it, anyways. It yeah, like, oh, exactly. Yeah, I could have went with like regular dip, like, but I went specifically mint. Uh, Do you hate almond stuff? 
No, not at all. I fucking these like the little peppermints. Lifesavers. I yeah. like fucking. I'm like addicted to those. Yeah, things. those, those are too. Cool. The it's only like the dip I won't dip is uh, spearmint. Oh really? It's, People I think love it's that. I think they got rid of it though. Hor- I don't. I haven't seen. I haven't skull, dipped skull. skull Original skull snus. Copenhagen snus. No flavor is like a very. It was hard like experience. trying to dip salt. Yeah. yeah it's like it, you can't beach put, sand or something. You can't. You just have to like all sit in your mouth granularly. Yeah. It's disgusting. Yeah. All right, Jer, your last pick. Last pick. Um, I'm gonna go with something specific. Um, it's white vinegar. Ooh. And I th- I think white vinegar smells worse than red vinegar. I think it smells worse than apple cider vinegar. I think it's the worst of the vinegars. Um, so I'm going to go with white vinegar. It's a bad smell. I it's love a bad it. Smell. it. It's a uh... <laughs> I love it. Yeah. If I'm eating like a salad, it? which is rare, I'm just oil and vinegar. Yeah. Just yeah, but you're putting, you're putting red vinegar. No, I'm putting white vinegar on it. Ew. Oh, really? Just a, yeah, a little bit of oil and vinegar. Oh, yeah. I love vinegar. Oh, wow. I, I, it, the smell's different than the taste, though, a little bit. I kind of I could see where I am the extreme outlier, though. But I, I love any sort of vinegar. White vinegar. Hmm. I'm having a hard time. I just... I don't know if it's There's white regular distilled vinegar. vinegar. I, oh, it's not. I don't know. If yeah. it, is that specific? Is it white distilled vinegar? I don't know the process of how to make it I don't or know. create it or anything. The white vinegar is fine. Yeah, it, it's – I feel like people hate when I reference, like, old relationships, but I had a girl who was like, we're getting rid of all the chemicals. And so we had to start cleaning the kitchen with – Vinegar. With white vinegar. That doesn't do nothing. I, it's I mean, a total it, trick, though. I, it worked. It. I mean, it yeah. cl- cleans it, but like I'm very familiar with that smell, and I do not enjoy it either. So I've heard people boil it. Like if there's like a it's stinky, like, like let's say yeah. your dog oh, gets right, sprayed yeah. in the house. Mm-hmm. I heard people boil white vinegar. Yeah. No, yeah. yeah. Vinegar's not good. Yeah, yeah, it's not a good smell. Yeah. All right, Chief. All right, another personal one. Um, I'll take a melting, burning plastic. So that was I was going to take nursing home here. But that smell, like I used to work obviously in plastics, we've talked about that before, and we would take all of our like discards, like the, the ones that were a little out of round or whatever, that they were just not good enough to sell, and you'd chip them up, and then you would either sell them in these big bundles um, and and to, to recycle them, or sometimes you would just kind of smolder them, and that smell, the, that's well, I don't, illegal. what? I feel like that's awful now, it's the not. Environment. It, it's I'm sure it's not good, but the way like there is like a whole like process okay. to be able to do it. They have to do it in certain machines and certain places. And and but that was um, it's a smell that I'm it's very awful. familiar with. And it's awful. It's bad. It's also the worst when some idiot throws it in the fire. Yeah. Oh, the, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's yeah. like, come on, bro. Like, don't you know, cans yeah. only. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Cans only. Don't yeah. throw your solo cup yeah. in there. That's one of the few that's been drafted. That's not. It's not like a gross smell, but it's a horrible smell. Yeah, it's, it's horrible. Like, don't, yeah, you don't need burn plastic in yeah. the fire. Agreed. Yeah, it's good. Uh, White Sox, Dave, Mister Irrelevant, the last pick of the draft. Now this is going to be a weird one, but you guys will all know what I'm talking about. I assume. I happen to love asparagus. Asparagus piss is so fucking disgusting. Oh, it's a good pick. That's a good pick. It's a really good pick, Dave. Yeah. It's a really good pick. I was debating picking that on my last pick. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. And I love asparagus. Me too. In the summer, steak But that was a nice moment between you two. That was a good moment for Jerry and Dave. You guys were both sitting on pissing on asparagus. What a nice moment for you two boys. (laughs) (laughs) I I I I eat a lot of asparagus and I got stinky piss. Because it is that is definitely a thing. What I don't know. I don't know why. Other food. There's something part of the byproduct that it, doesn't get yeah. absorbed, and when it interacts with your fucking whatever, there's some reason. It'll if you could probably draw it back, like thirty thousand years to some fucking tribe, you know, that ate all the asparagus and had uncovered the asparagus. And then they just got too cocky, and this is like evolution's way of being like, oh, now people can go smell their piss. What does that smell like? These are the people who have all the food, and then those people got fucking killed, and the asparagus made its way around the world. Yeah. That's oh, a you, good oh, you disagree with that hypothetical, Ed, huh? No, no, no. Okay. No, no. I didn't say that. All right. Because uh, I think that's how asparagus came to be. Really? Yeah. It takes years to grow asparagus. See? We, my dad's got a vegetable garden. You plant asparagus, you Your can't eat it until. Vegetable garden. 
I'll, I'm going to have a vegetable garden in the spring. A little uh, small one, tomatoes on the porch and everything. I'd love to come check it out and chat with him. I've been looking for a vegetable gardener on the show. He had, It's a big one, too. It's as big as this office room. That's pretty office, big. The, the, the studio? Studio we're in, yeah. yeah. That's Would you let Eddie interview your dad about vegetable gardening if we didn't tell the audience it was your dad? If, if it was like, we're, no. now we're talking to, it's a totally random guy. He's not a vegetable gardener. Bill Williams. Or he's not, yeah, he's not Billy Williams. Can't do it. <laughs> it. Nothing good would come of it. I'm sorry, Ed. Uh, good Mr. Relevant, Dave. Yep. Strong Mr. Relevant. I'm going to run through the list what here. He's a good rutabaga. <laughs> we'll do some honorable mentions. We'll get out of here. Uh, Carl, human shit, dead body, hockey bag, rotten egg, skunk spray, Eddie, fart, body odor, dumpster, sweaty feet, mint dip, Jerry, bad breath, stinky pussy, uh, Baby formula spit up nursing home white vinegar, chief vomit porta potty anal gland secretion, pig farms <laughs> burning plastic white sacks Dave dead fish sewage shower fart ammonia asparagus Jerry you have any honorable mentions Well sorry you have to put chiefs that you said anal secretion anal gland secretion it's dog dog's anal, anal yeah, gland it's gotta oh, be sorry, it has to be people dog. can see that graphic yeah, and, like, like what? who the fuck is yeah. taking anal sorry, fucking sorry. Yeah. my apologies glands my apologies jerry honorable mentions he did honorable yeah list. one one that um sticks out to me on, on my little list here is the the lint from the sock in the side of the toenail that's very specific. I feel like you have to be a foot guy to know what that <laughs> smell is. Yeah. yeah. So that's that's just like we have an expert in front of us. Yeah. <laughs> that is good. Yeah I, don't, yeah. I don't know if it's just me specifically, like when I'm like getting a pedicure or I'm just cutting my toenails. Um, and like you see that little like in the corner of the toenail. What is that? It looks a little dark. What is that? And then you get like a the thing on the nail clipper. There's like an extra piece that it out. swings out, and you get it out, and like you look at it, and it's like lint, and then you smell it. Horrible. I, yeah. I think you can avoid it. Just don't smell it. Just get it yeah. out. Just, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you never have to smell that again. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you guys have any? Yeah, I had sulfur. We kind of talked about that. Um, I didn't want to shit talk my dog twice, but wet dog is, yes. is it, a bad is a smell. smell. Yeah, and then they're so happy too. Yeah, all wet. Do that. They're all like yeah. all jovial and, like, and then hey, uh, just, just spoiled milk is bad too. Yeah, yeah. One that um, I kind of wish I would have taken it over ammonia, but uh, football girdle. I mean, growing up playing football, yeah. I wouldn't wash yeah. it after like every single night. Yeah, like you sick. should. I'd wash it, you know, once a week probably, which uh, is gross. But I know all you guys did it that played stank. football because it's just at that point you don't give a fuck. Uh, burnt rubber. I don't know if that was mentioned. Burnt hair. Hannah. Burnt hair is Ed. bad. Yep. Bad. Yeah. Uh, dirty oh, socks. I didn't get drafted. Well. Uh, so for our senior prank, I didn't partake in any senior pranks in high school because the baseball team was still playing after we graduated. Not to brag. So if we got caught, we would have been able to play in the state tournament. Uh, my buddy, I'm not going to say his name. I haven't actually talked to him in a long time, but for his, he he got a bottle off like eBay or Craigslist or it was called Liquid Ass, oh, and yeah. it was meant That's for bad. this. It was meant for pulling pranks on people, and it was a little eye drop bottle, and he was like putting it on the handrails to you know in the different hallways and stuff. The entire high school smelled like liquid asshole. Oh. It was it was an abomination. Bad, bad. Uh, I have five uh, sauerkraut. It's a good one. Um. You know, I, just, I also like sauerkraut too, yeah, but it does yeah, smell yeah, bad. It just like sits it. there too, and especially like you I know also what I mean? don't like the name. Like the name yeah, sauerkraut, yeah, kind of just like you know this is gross. Yeah, it's a gross word. You go to like a German place, and it just, yeah. the spreads I like out. Kraut. And it just sits I like there. Kraut. It's just uh, it's stinking up the place. Mm. Uh, I have ferrets, gerbils, and all those fucks. Any rodent, yeah, 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 yeah they, they smell like they, they stink. Stinking dude. up the whole Petco. Uh, I was gonna like obviously I was I was alluding to I was between gu- dumpsters and garbage trucks. I think dumpsters are worse. Getting caught behind yeah. a garbage truck sucks. Yeah. I like tuna, but tuna does smell. I like does. tuna. The smell yeah. of tuna doesn't bother me. I guess. Yeah. And this is a personal one. I, I I talked about leftovers on Thanksgiving one. I don't like like you pop open that leftover chicken, 
and I know a lot of people like it. Don't I don't, I don't like that. There's something. Yeah, to I that. know what you're saying. I don't the poultry like, in general yeah, is not a uh, does not hang around that well. Yeah, I don't no, like that. But I don't yeah. like poultry that much. I said between we said pork earlier. Yeah. I'll take pork over poultry ten out of ten yeah. times. Me I don't too. I, would I, too. Hate, I hate chicken. Yes, dude. That it's leftover cheap. chicken smell and that when you pop that Tupperware. Yeah. Ooh, it's so pungent, man. This people like we're talking like a roasted chicken. Yeah, like, yeah, Cooked just like chicken. just like grilled chicken. Like I, yeah. I remember just being in in, yeah. in grad school, and this kid next to me would just pop it every night class, That's and tough. it would just oh. be like, "Dude, come on, bro." I don't know. Uh, I do anything? have an announcement to make. Eddie has tipped the draft topic this week. Well, we're done. I thought we weren't supposed to tip until the episode aired, but that's fine. No, we're done. Um, you know, one thing, ball cheese, you know, with your balls. like It's a bad smell. Long day, and maybe you didn't shower on that one Thursday because you were hungover and you were working from home, and then all of a sudden, like, delivery's there at 6 p.m., and you're just like, oh, I haven't showered. I'll, I'll hit that shower tomorrow morning, and you get up the next day. You got to take a dump. You take your pants off. And you're sitting down, and, like, the when you sit and the way the air force moves and, like, your body presses the air back up into your face and you catch your balls – um, it's a really bad smell. You're scratching your balls and you get a little whiff on the fingernails and tips. Like that'll linger very much. Ball cheese, for sure. So from onto cheese. Yes, yeah, so if I had any, that was that my only honorable mention. Um, is is ball cheese. Beautiful. <laughs> All right, Jerry. Thank you, man. Appreciate you hopping yep. on. It was fun. <clears throat> had a blast. Had a blast. Thanks for having me, guys. Awesome. All right, that's it, everybody. Thank you for listening. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow. We will uh, see you guys then.